it is Crash Master, and welcome back to another Texture Pack Tour video. And today, mites, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, mites, basically, over the course of the series so far, what we've actually been exploring is not only Texture Packs, but it's called Master Packs. Now, mites, basically, I don't know the official difference between it, but for me, basically, mites, when you buy a Master Pack, you get everything pretty you get all of the blocks and the textures of minecraft and whatnot every single block differently mods every single block except for your skin pretty much all of the weapons all of the armor and whatnot every single thing even the potions from the beds all the way to even the mobs now mods what we are actually going to be doing is well one well, um, first I'll explain. A master pack, you get the world, you get basically a custom world to explore in, and you can customize your own world with the way it looks. And a texture pack, well, you only get to customize the way your world looks. Now, mice, what we are in right now is called my, uh, my sketchbook world. And, well, I didn't want to exactly, I pro I just had the idea of basically considering doing this, um, in either a blank world, or basically mice you can or we could just go over like a long list of every single item but i felt like you know what that's too boring mice that's just way too boring to go over every single one that would take way too long so mice what we're gonna do today is we are gonna explore four different ones because right now this one the, the texture pack we're using right now it's uh the official minecraft texture pack mice as you can see we have all the actual we have all the types of dirt besides dirt itself because it just kept regrowing into grass um we we also do have all the woods, all the types of planks and oaks and buttons and trap. We have most of the types of stones. We have um, the sand and sandstones, granite and the site. We have all the types of heads and um, the melons and fruit and pumpkins. And um, actually, you know what? One more thing we should, we could probably we could pretty much put this cake down next to it, I suppose. All right. We also got all the ores and the stuff you can make like golden and iron supplies, as you can see, from coal all the way to diamond. Then you got the quartz. Then you got the end stuff. Then you got prismarine to the different types of blocks from the nether to mushrooms to light sources all around. As you can see, we even got lava and fire. And you know what? Why don't we as well put some water? Let's put some water inside the cauldron. I feel like that would be pretty good. Alright, so right there. There we go, mice. There we are. Isn't that just great? So, you know, I'm just going to keep the block of dirt in my hand anyway, since I can't technically place it down. But, mice, what we're going to be doing right now, besides all of that, we're going to explore most of the stuff inside of the creative mode and to see what it actually looks like. Not just a look at the whole world and a custom world itself, but what everything looks like in Minecraft. Because we're looking at not mashup packs, but true texture packs so mites i am going to be back in one second really really quickly and we are just going to switch switch to the next texture pack right now hello mites we are back as i said we've cut right now and now as you can see everything looks different the dirt kind of looks like a weird brown bowl of um uh, a bowl, bowl, I mean, <laughs> I mean, ball of, um, well, dirt still. Now, Mike, what we are using right now is classified as the city texture pack. As you can see, the grass from the grass path to the mycelium to the, what's that called again? Um, uh, um, I don't know. It's another type of dirt, basically. And we also have that one right there. So you can see all the woods, like, this basically is sort of a realistic one. Like, lots of people in Minecraft always say, Minecraft isn't a really realistic game. Obviously, there's fire and there is laws of physics in a way. Like, when we go up, like, flying, we can go down, basically, and survive in Minecraft and whatnot. We have beds, we have animals, we have hunger bars, systems, we have, we can get hurt. But stuff like that, you know, it can stay up in the air and whatnot so people try to make it look very realistic as you can see it looks very realistic it's even got much of a circle even though i feel like that should have been a square that's my criticism on this no circles in minecraft just well i mean technically you know what? shut up shut up as you can see all the other words oak casea planks all the whatnot i do like some of the patterns that's like um a pure like floor right there which i actually do have in my in my in my room as well we also do have the spruce, the acacia. Actually, I think this is the acacia. We have the dark oak, the birch. Then we have also, um, what's the other one called? Uh, there's so many things. The um, spruce, the spruce. That's the one. As you can see, I do quite like the dark oak. I do like the dark oak as well. And I really do like the oak. And that's the um, the trap door right there. Not quite the exact same as um, the regular wood section. It looks a lot more metal. It feels like that should be the iron section. Right there, we also do have this um, this birch doll, which I do really like. I mean, not birch, spruce, right? 
Yep, spruce. All right. So let's go right now onto that. We also do have, since it's not really a stone, the obsidian is also here. Because it kind of looks like a basically purple version of cobblestone. And, and, and stone is kind of the same thing. And as you can see, there we go. We have all of these, which are the silverfish blocks and the moldy regular stones. We also have the stone stairs, the button, the pressure plates, and the um the, the gates, I guess it's called. The fences. Um, but whatever, it, whatever it's called. As you can see, we have all the stone right there. All the way from the, um, also, before there used to be, like, a, a mob shape right there, um, the weather shape, but now we still have the creeper one, but it's really small down with some, like, weird symbols, and no longer do we have the wither shape right there, too. We also have all the mob heads, the, um, Steve still looks like Steve, the, the zombie head, it does look quite a little bit different, but nonetheless a little more sad and practically the same. Creeper looks more or less the same, but the skeletons, oh dear, what? Look at that, skeleton! Oh dear, it looks like it's kind of like made of metal with a shine, although that one kind of has a shine to it too, but nonetheless, mice, I would not like to run next to that in the nether. The, the dragon's eyes are a little bit um, on the side of its head though, instead of like in front of its face. Its mouth looks really funny too. The pumpkins still look kind of sad at all, and the jack-o'-lantern, and the cake, it looks like a chocolate cake now. Before it was kind of like a vanilla cake with strawberries, but now we have like a cool little flower design as well. Now, let's move on to the andesite, to diorite, and, um, um, grandite, or something like that, I think it is. I don't know, some andesite, diorite, and granite. Gran I thought it was grandite. Uh, it's granite. There we go. Now we have the bricks, the nether bricks, and the nether brick poles with the stairs as well. Now we have onto the ore. It's probably my, my favorite section. Now, it does sort of look like realistic. Um, right there, that is lapis. I thought it was diamond at first, but it actually is lapis. This is diamond. The emerald, the redstone looks very interesting if you ask me as well. It does look very cool. I don't even know what shape that is. Can I figure it out? Um, um, nope, not really. It looks like some kind of weird gun, like, that's the handle, there's some weird bottom thingy, and that's kind of like a gun thing, I'm not really sure. But I do, re uh, my favorite blocks are probably di the diamond block, the redstone, and the lapis. I quite do like it. Also, this looks so real, like, if you graze your hand against this, it would kind of, not cut you, but you would just feel how rough it is. Also, the iron door and the iron trap door looks very, very nice as well. Right, now we go on to the quartz, which looks very, very realistic. In a sense, like, of when it's usually digged out, out of, like, tunnels and mining and, and mining shafts in real life. I mean, it's not covered in red, obviously, because it's from the nether, but it does look very, very good. It looks so rough and full of, like, cracks. Then we have the pillars and the other blocks, of course. Then these look very cool. This looks like a Rubik's Cube, in a sense. This looks like a Rubik's Cube to me, these, um, per per blocks. Also, there we are. We have the end stone, which looks really cool. It kind of looks like, um, um, I don't know what it's called. Um, it feels like that's what it would like in the museum's mods. Would have these, like, actual packs of, um, stone on the walls and the floors to give it a really good design. Also, the prismarine looks really good. Especially this. This looks like, um, the Rubik's Cube right there, but, like, really small and greenish. Also, we do have all the rest from the nether, from the magma box, and the nether world. The nether world kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like a giant chunk of cherry. Let me see. Kind of looks like a giant chunk of cherry or strawberry when you look at it in a, in, a, in your hand, as you can see right there. All right. So let's see. Also, we have the mushroom blocks, of course. It looks. This one looks very mushroomy. Um, like this looks like the top of the mushroom, but in the inside where the stems are, this looks very much like it. Also, we have the torches. Really nice, especially the redstone one. And the beacon. Ooh, let's see the look. Let's look inside the beacon. Um, pretty much the same thing. None of the symbols have changed that much. But the oh, okay. The emeralds. These still look like pretty much the same, just a little more polished. Um, but the emeralds and the diamonds, they have changed. Instead of like um, instead of like um, um I'm not sure what the well, instead of like that stereotypical diamond shape, they and uh and uh, emerald shape, they do look a lot more different. Also, we do have, I do quite like the, um, the redstone lamp. It looks like sort of like a, ch a Japanese style lamp, if you kind of get what I'm saying. The water looks very realistic with the ripples inside of it. And the lava and the fire, the fire kind of looks the same, but the lava looks a lot more magma looking, actually. But, mines, there we go. That looks like that's all of it. So, well, really quickly before we actually jump into our next texture pack really quickly. I said we were going to do four, I think, at the start. But I'm not sure. It depends how much time we get. So, really quickly, as you can see, there's all of the blocks right there. Wow, so many. Just shows you how dedicated they are. Whoa, look at these boats, too. I want to take a couple, a look at some of the items, mines. Just some of them. Because I don't want to give away too many spoilers, basically. Alright, these kind of look like ink, um, ink jars, where they usually have, like, paint. 
That looks like, uh, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like a lipstick thing, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Ooh, is that the quartz? Oh, prismarine and crystal. That looks like the... Yeah, that actually looks really cool. I feel like that would be quartz. Is this quartz? Uh, nope, that's sugar. That's quartz. It practically looks the same. That just looks like a lot more sharpened. Alright, wait. Alright, just another look. The, the fruit. This looks like... The melon slice looks like it's already been eaten, almost. I do... Oh, and the coarse fruit looks like a light bulb. Oh, this is a cracked light bulb. And this is... It's like, um, popped. Um, or cracked or exploded in a sense. There we go. Spider eye looks really creepy. Right? Wow. I especially do love the armor. We have a doctor, some sort of soldier. We also do have um, some more clothes, like a worker police outfit and a um, uniform. Then we also have like a biker leather jacket suit, sort of. Blueprints, the cups is a lighter. The swords look very, very skinny. <laughs> sort of like I'm um, a realistic sort of sword. And then we have like um, this men in black suit and tie with the glasses. Looks really good. Really, really good. And they have like a, the enchanted books have thunder symbols, which is kind of funny. Right, there's all the potions and the um, rest. Oh, we also have like the Lucky's Rabbit's float, which is kind of um, quaint. It's got like the little chain around it. Glistening melon still looks like someone ate a bit of it. All right. Ooh, the buckets look really great too, Moist. They look really, really great if you ask me. Like it's got like a, a really, really tinge, like in real life. Um, which is a little bit of realism question in Minecraft. When you grab lava out of a bucket, it eventually would burn your hands. But no worries, Steve or anybody in Minecraft has no trouble on burning their hands. And as you can see, wow, this looks really, really good. The snowball looks super ultra realistic looking as well. The paper looks like class paper. Or the spawn eggs. That looks like some the nether star turned into a shirook, a shuriken of some sort. And the fireworks, they look like mini rockets. And uh, I think these are called um, MP3 players, right? I think they're called that. The music does have changed as well. The eggs look like, well, eggs? How did the egg look? Let me see. Egg, egg. Um, I think it's in this section. Oh, there we go. All right. Compare this egg to... This egg, it kind of looks like it's been diseased or something, especially, ugh, I don't want to touch that. Um, and the boat, the boats look pretty cool, especially this one, I kind of like this one. But mites, once again, we're going to move on to the next texture pack right now. And here we are mites, the plastic texture pack. This is actually a personal one of my favorites. I was so curious one day I actually did check it out, but I didn't explore like the whole... Well, um, I didn't really check it out. My, my cousin played on the world and I just got curious enough and it said plastic texture pack. And I'm like, you know what? I'll go ahead and check it out. And as you can see, everything looks so much more plastic. The dirt doesn't even look like dirt. It's like plastic dirt, I suppose you could say. The grass looks so like flat, really, compared to regular Minecraft. It looks so weird. So you can see, oh, this... This is, this is just not, this is just bad. This is just bad. Whoever kept that grass, whoever grew this grass was a bad farmer, Mois. Bad farmer indeed. The trees look, I especially like the, the pattern in the, in the, in the, in the middle, basically. It looks really, really like hypnotic in a sense. Very, very nice. And, um, I especially do like the way how they change the colors into like certain tones, like the birch. It looks a little, it looks more or less the same, but all just plastic. The doors, the, um, the stairs, the bun, everything just looks this way. But I think I just like the way how it looks like it was, like, actually drawn in a cartoon sense, kind of. If you guys catch my drift, like, with the middle of it, with the, the bold, um, structure of the wood, sort of. And, um, let's see, the obsidian looks like just a purple chunk of block. I don't really know how to say it, honestly. It's all plastic. It's all plastic, basically. Alright, so, oh, the stone looks very plasticky with, like, the shine to it, and the way how it, like, looks. If you feel it, it would feel so smooth if you could just caress it. Alright, we don't have the creeper face anymore on the sandstone, or the weather face. Once again, no weather face, but this time, no creeper face. Also, we have the stairs, and let's take a look. Steve actually does look really, like, he looks like, um, maybe if it, if this is how we would look if he was a little bit younger, I suppose. I suppose we could say the zombie looks more or less the same just plastic the creeper also has lost all of its like textures and the way how it officially looked skeletons and the wooden skeleton um look a little bit different like they're made of clay and the dragon looks really good on the other hand Moist. this looks like it's made of like cardboard and painted the pumpkin <laughs> and the jagalanta they look they look so weird and it just looks so funny looking they're like really confused looking the cake looks like fake cake when you just look at it Moist. i mean it's got one single chair and it looks like it's kind of been like dark chocolate, maybe been burnt. Um, I think it's dark chocolate though. Alright, once again, the, the the rocks, the granite, and the side dial, alright, all looks a little bit, you can see like the little like um, bubble shines on it. I don't know what it's officially called, like um, the tone of it. 
Also, we have the nether bricks, which do not look like bricks anymore. They kind of look like Lego pieces of you if you if you play with it. I'm pretty sure everybody has. The ore looks so just... <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. It looks so small. It looks like if I was the miners, instead of the regular piece of coal, you would get more. It looks like you would just get like a, a chunk of it, like a little small chunk of it. I mean, just look at this. It looks really like bubbles. You can see like the bubbles shine on all of it, except for the coal. It's just a black block of like play-doh pretty much as you can see the door looks actually still pretty iron and authentic actually too also the the pressure pads they still have that little bubble shine the nether quartz on the other hand it looks i don't even know what this is supposed to be really it's like um it's basically all a square with like chunks of quartz sticking out so perfectly it looks like this is an actual block and not ore to mine up it looks really good also we still have some of the you could have to kind of look closely if you can't really see white or gray that good looking practically because um, it is a little hard to see. Um, also, we do have the purple block, which looks very, very shiny and plasticky. Also, the end stone looks nothing like it did in the original. No rough or tough textures, just smooth, plastic, uh, frosting, cake looking stuff. Ooh, I do I do like the aqua, the aqua marine. I mean, prismarine. Aqua means a real thing. Prismarine is a fake thing, well, sort of. Um, it does look very good, especially like um the these blocks. They look exactly the same. This looks like um this looks like the bricks over there too. Also um this the nether wall block looks exactly like the quartz blocks, which is kind of like that's what it basically is. Nether a uh, nether quartz blocks. It's basically quartz inside of netherrack in a sense, because as you can see, the white is now replaced with red. The so sand, more or less creepy. I think it's a little more creepy with like a skeleton screaming. A little weird. Um, the magma blocks, I do like. I do like the look of it. It looks so like, like um, if you stepped in this, it looks like if the stones on the or the rocks, if you want to call it stones or rocks, would just sink into it. It looks like. I feel like I would just sink into it, honestly. Um, which block was this again? This was um the nether wall block. It does look very nice. I can't even describe it. The mushroom looks like a Mario mushroom in a way, like the way how it's cartoony, except more square than circle, honestly. Um, and obviously, alright, then we got the torches, um, the redstone torch looks a little bit weird on the side though, um, there we go, we got the water, which looks, um, pretty much the same as regular Minecraft, if you ask me, but the lava, there we have all the lava bubbles just bubbling and exploding, sort of, the fire more or less looks dumb, it looks exactly the same as regular Minecraft, if you ask me, then we also do have the redstone lamp right there, the glowstone, the beacon inside, nothing's really changed, although the emerald looks like a... Uh, like a slime ball, like, but squ more square than a slime ball. The diamond looks like an upside down diamond. And they just look like w yellow and white bricks, if you ask me, pretty much. Also, the, the little tower symbol right there, it's all changed to gray, too. Hmm. A little interesting, if you ask me. But nonetheless, Mars, this texture pack is one of my favorites, honestly, of all time. I did, You can make some incredible builds just with the way it looks. You can make, like, probably a bouncy house, especially with the slime blocks and whatnot. So really quickly, we are going to go and scroll down what most of the blocks look like. There we go. Oh, the, li the lily flat looks like a heart. It looks like a green heart. The mushroom, yeah, see, boys, look, I told you. The mushroom looks, oh, I can't really place it down because it's too light. But it looks like a realistic Mario mushroom. And the cactus it looks not at all pointy besides, like, the corners of it. Yep, ooh, I like the bookshelf. I like the bookshelf, how it looks like just animated bookshelves. Oh, the wall is, like, very, very, like, smooth looking. The Everything's a lot more 2D, too. Like, everything that used to be kind of like a 3D-ish model, like cake in the boats, they've all been, like, Flattened down pretty much on um, well some of them still have 3d um, Characteristic the redstone it kind of looks like the diamond but upside down well right side up and red uh, Let's see all right the jukebox the note blocks looks very different. It looks so Technological looking and like a lot more different Wow, this is just this is just amazing. I can't uh, I can't even express myself look see a lot This is basic sugar dust the clay the gunpowder um, the sugar canes and wheat, um, look very, I don't even know how to describe that. It look like blow pipes where you just blow into it and it makes a noise. The die looks, um, a little bit weird. The bone, the giant bone. How big is this? Boy, it's look at this. <laughs> it looks like a giant bone. I can just smack somebody in the face like, like, bod, bod, bod. Look at that. That's, that's a little bit cartoony right there if you ask me. All right, let's keep looking. Wait, all right. Um, the bricks and, uh, the ingots all look practically the same, just a little bit different colored. Alright, the food! 
That's a full melon if you ask me. The fish also looks pretty funny, and the puffer fish is just so surprised as usual. Um, the cake, very plastic looking. The golden carrot looks shiny as ever, if you ask me. Let me see the golden apple. Um, yep, shiny, shiny, shiny. Just shiny and shinier because of the plastic. The chorus fruit, actually, that looks very realistic. Um, well, not the chorus fruit, I mean the, the beetroot. The chorus fruit looks actually pretty delicious if you ask me. Oh, the armor looks really funny too. It looks more or less the same. Um, like the leather, but it's a lot more like hands drawn and like if it was on a cartoon ish show. The totem of Undying looks like a mini person, <laughs> like a like a mini um not snow golem, iron golem if you ask me. The books um I don't exactly know how this is supposed to be a book. Like how would you open? Oh, it's like a diary sort of. Mark. It's what like the middle thing is supposed to be a strap. I think it is. Um, the bottles look very flat. <laughs> I don't know how that would handle any liquid whatsoever. And, ooh, alright, enchantment table, um, brewing stand. I want to check out these two really quickly. Let's take a look at some of these. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, oh, the, that looks like a little mini flame too. I think that's where uh, the blaze powder is supposed to go. Alright, let's keep moving on. The shulker boxes look um, very much the same, but at the same time, a little, a little more simpler design. The beds look... <laughs> they look so, like... Um, like, um, it kind of reminds me of Terraria in a way, like, the way how the sprites sort of look. Um, the buckets look like, um, like, I don't even know, they look like just so flat, it's hard to describe it. The cauldron as well, the end crystal, also the eggs, the eggs look very weird. Um, the nether star, it's not even, like, sharpened anymore, it's like purely blocky Minecraft now. And the pearls, not even more circle pixels, it's just really, um, something we have seen circular is kind of the eggs and the music disc, and the rocket and the fireworks still look like more mini rockets, but that's what a firework is at the end of the day. But, anyway, small lights, that is too, I was hoping to get through this a lot more faster, but looks like this video is actually gonna take a while to, um, these videos are the next few last ones of the series, possibly, might take a few more. But don't worry, mods, even if Xbox One Edition is over and all the other editions with no more texture packs to explore, there are still quite a few things we can do but for now mites that's the end of the video hopefully you all enjoyed this please give a like and subscribe and yes i will see you all later later guys